What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the car. We bought a Ford Taurus, but it's not just a Ford Taurus. It's a police car. And the best part is I got it for insane, insane cheap money. But what's better than that is I found out after I bought it that the listing wasn't even accurate. This car is way better than what the listing said it was, and it's worth far more than what I paid for it. This is my 2016 Ford Taurus Police Interceptor, but it's more than just a police interceptor. This was listed as a Ford Taurus SEL, which is a pretty basic trim model, nothing wrong with it. It's a cool looking car. I love it. I wanted it and I bought it and I was happy with it. And you're gonna freak out and hear how much I paid for it. I bid, $4,600 and I won. It's got 155,000 miles on the odometer. $4,600 I won, but they didn't want to let it go for 46. So I did some negotiating and I ended up paying $5,000 out the door for it. Now with that said, I had to have it shipped. I don't even remember where it came from. All I know is it's probably a Northern car, Pennsylvania, something like that, Northeast. Anyway, five grand was what I paid with fees and everything out the door, minus the shipping. I don't remember how much the shipping is, probably another 1200 bucks. All right, this thing is sick. It's got the Goodyear Eagle Pursuit Enforcement, or what do they call this? Um, Enforcer All Weather Tires, 245, 55, 18. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm really shocked. But here's the deal, this is where it gets interesting. They had this listed as a two-wheel drive car. Well, you may have noticed it's got a badge on it right here that says EcoBoost. Oh, that's right, that's right. This is the twin turbo. This is the engine that came in the Taurus SHO. So it's an SEL trim model, but it has the SHO twin turbo engine. But here's where they really messed up. This is all wheel drive, yes. I looked up the original factory window sticker from Ford. This is all wheel drive. <laughs> this, is, this is an all wheel drive twin turbo V6 car. And I, I was already happy that I got it and very excited that it was on its way. And when I found out that they had the listing wrong on this, it was just wrong. Twin turbo, all wheel drive Ford Taurus. Interior looks really nice. Let's take, and it actually smells good. Wow, oh, it's a little dirty, you know, whatever. What is this? Oh, dash cam, okay. My question is, oh, that's probably why it smells good. Um, <laughs> it's got the, uh, oh, the PA system. And it looks like it may still have the sirens and everything as well. I know it's getting a little dark, so I'm gonna have to get going. They took the light bar. You can see where the light bar used to be. And I'm already thinking about, I don't need it to work, but I think it would just look so much better if we could find maybe a parts light bar for this and reinstall a light bar. Now I've got the key. I did not cheat on this one. I just got here as soon as I could, man. I ran here. I got the keys in my pocket. I have not started it. I know nothing about this car other than it looks really cool and I got it for really cheap. I don't know if it has any issues, mechanical or otherwise. I know the body looks good. The interior looks really good as well. But I really want to know, do these toys work? Not that I, I don't even know how to work them, but ignition on. Everything's come to life. Fired, oh, it sounds good. It sounds really good. Driver's door ajar. It's got 155,237 miles on the odometer. Air conditioning, please, good Lord. It is hot. Somebody's already got the AC on. Yeah, that's another thing, don't know if it works or not. The light bar works though, look at that. Or the, uh, the spotlight works, but this, uh-oh. Well, uh, 
No. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. Well, that's a shame. Maybe the power is disconnected somewhere? I, I don't know. I don't know. They obviously took... Oh, they cut some wires for sure. May need to get in there and kind of look around a little bit. You got this too. This is two off and one. I don't know what that is. Some outlets here. The trunk. Oh, a stack of books and papers. What is all this? Oh, the original books for this car? No kidding. Oh, wow. That is super cool. And yes, it is from Pennsylvania. I'm finding all kinds of receipts. There's a lot of receipts in here, so I might want to... I don't want to give out people's names, but all of the original books are with this as well. That is super cool. Important window. Yes. Excellent. And the air conditioning, ice cold. That window works as well. Um, turn the lights on. Let's pop the hood. It sounds great. And no check engine light? Are you kidding me? Now, this car is also interesting because for the police pursuit vehicles, they did a rear crash test for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They did a rear crash test at 70 miles an hour on this because obviously a police officer is more likely to get rear-ended on the side of the highway. This vehicle crash tested, rear-ended at 70 miles an hour, received a five-star crash test rating. In fact, it got five stars all across the board except for rollover. Rollover, it received four stars from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And obviously, you get your, uh, your full-size spare right there. Jack and everything is in there as well. This is a big trunk. And you can see some kind of a support brace back here. Well, maybe you can't see it, but there's a big brace in the back here. Oh, I, I love this car. Seriously, for the price, right? And it's got the HID headlights too. If you're gonna spend $5,000 on something, I, I, I don't know what better car to spend the money on, truthfully, than a police car. I, I just don't. And there it is. I had so many people commenting when I was posting this on Instagram. I had this all over social media. And people were commenting like crazy that they, they know the car better than me. That's not the twin turbo. That's the naturally aspirated. Cool car, but it's the naturally aspirated version. That's not the twin turbo. The police departments typically won't spend the extra money for the twin turbo. Well, there it is. There's a turbo. There'll be another one back there. <laughs> charge pipes yep that's the twin turbo v6 right there and it sounds healthy really really healthy now i also notice our siren is right here that's a big speaker and it looks like the wires are still there and still hooked up to something and that light right there good lord that sucker's bright i love it I love it. What do you say we drive it? That's 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 what's next. I gotta drive. The tires are like new. The car, the body looks beautiful. This thing is in. Well, I haven't driven it. <laughs> Let's not get too carried away. I haven't driven it yet. Ugh. Let me adjust this. Is this electric seat. It's got power seats. Oh. Yes. Okay. We'll turn that off. Let me uh, bring the seat down a little bit. It's sitting really, really high. Get to a position where I'm a little more comfortable. And, uh, well, I say we get up on the road and uh, take her for a spin. All right, it is getting a little dark on us, but I think we'll be okay. This has a uh, Microsoft Sync, I guess. Sync phone, Sync media, radio. It says it's got a CD player. Oh, right there. I slipped right by me and like I said cold air conditioning and I love that it's got the shifter up here that old school style of shifter man this is great all right first drive ladies and gentlemen and she does have some miles on her though 155,000 miles on the odometer can I uh 
let me reset this trip so that we can clearly see how far we've gone. Obviously, I'm going to try to do the 10-mile run here and uh, as soon as traffic gets out of the way. You know what's great so far about this is when people see it, people start slowing down out here. They think you're holding a radar detector. <laughs> they slow down. I could see that being a problem on the highway when you're trying to get somewhere. Oh, wow. This is a... This is a quick little car. Well, it's really not little, I suppose. Um, anyway, I could see it getting on the highway and just trying to, uh, to get around places and people going really, really slow because they're afraid you're gonna pull them over. This is great, man. Oh, I like this. It's shifted. It sounds like we got a little bit of noise from the the rotors. I assume it probably hasn't been driven very much in a while. I ran the Carfax on this. Carfax says that this car is worth like $13,000. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but this thing's got a lot of options for being a police car. You even got auxiliary input, USB over there as well. And it just looks so damn cool. Are you kidding me? I haven't even hit it yet. Let's, uh, oh, I barely gave it any throttle. I'm just trying to get up to speed. You know what I'm hearing? It's not noise from rotors. It's a tad bit of wind noise. Look like, yeah, there's a tad bit of wind noise in the cabin. Let's test the brakes out. Oh, those feel amazing. How's it do around this corner? No warning lights on the dash. I can't believe this. No warning lights on the dash. Steering is phenomenal. There's no vibrations, no funny noises. I, I think I really lucked out on this. You don't know what you're buying, guys. That's the thing, like it's an auction. It's an online auction at that, which is even worse. You have no idea what you're buying. You, you look at pictures and you hope that you get something decent. And in this case, I think I did. Can we set the cruise? Let's try it. I got the cruise set at 54 and it's holding. Not an issue. Horn? Uh-oh. No horn. Signals? Yep. Yep. Well, we'll have to figure out that horn. I'm hoping that maybe when they were disconnecting some of the equipment in here, possibly they may have popped something or disconnected something that goes to the siren. I want that siren. I really want that siren to work. We'll have to come back at a different video and try to get that working. It's also got the uh, the traffic light. Oh yeah. Red, white, and then you got a Motorola speaker up there too. This is awesome. Are you kidding me? We're just cruising down the road 60 miles an hour. I wonder what kind of fuel economy. It says average fuel economy, 13.5 over two and a half miles. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see. Um, average fuel economy over the last 6,000 miles, 18.2. That's really not bad. Well, let's see what else we could do. Um, information, engine hours. 8,778 hours. Now, I don't know anything about idle hours, but I've had cars that had thousands and thousands, like more than 8,000 guys, many thousands of hours of idle time. So um, engine hours, 8,778. You guys will have to comment below and tell me if that's above average, below average, normal. Um, Hell, maybe I got an even better deal than I thought. Not to worry, once we get up to the stop sign, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna I'm gonna get on it just a little bit, man. I wanna see what this twin turbo V6 is all about. So far, it runs and drives absolutely perfect. Well, we are approaching our halfway point, and I'm telling you, this thing runs and drives like an absolute dream oh this is phenomenal 
Yeah, they're over there staring at me. <laughs> yeah, are you drunk driving? Because I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, there is so much fun to be had with this car. So much fun. All right, so those were highway speeds, 60 miles an hour all the way over here and nothing. Listen to it. It purrs like a kitten. It, it doesn't sound intimidating at all, if I'm being completely honest. It really, it really does not sound intimidating. It's just so quiet, but it's kind of stealthy. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's stealthy and all black, no white, black wheels, just this little bit of chrome on the center caps. Oh, I, I love it. I'm absolutely in love with this car. And listen to this. I've even got the air conditioner on. Well, it's still got inspection stickers that are good, apparently. September of 2023. So we're still legal. Oh, I forgot to put a tag on it. Dang it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's okay. I'm the police. I don't have to have a tag. I'm a cop. Look at that glow. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to turn this off. And, uh... Let's get on the road. So the engine idle hours are actually 4,633, and the total engine hours are 8,778. So it looks like half of its life it's spent idling. Coolant temp and other things there, fuel economy. Boy, the way people look. Oh, he's got expired tags. <laughs> that guy right there, got, he's got expired tags. That's why he was looking at me funny. <laughs> I was like, oh man, he's gonna get me. Okay. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let me get back on the road, man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> These people are getting paranoid. All right. No noises at all. Let's give her, uh, let's give her a little gas. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Kidding. Oh, this sucker launches, man. <laughs> I don't know what the horsepower and torque numbers are on this. I know it's probably not like a fast, air quotes, car. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, that twin turbo really put it down. And with all four wheels, this thing, it just goes. You hit that gas and it just launches, man. Oh my, that was impressive. That was really impressive. I didn't know a Ford Taurus got up and went like this. No kidding, I gotta do it again. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit. Slow down just a little bit. Yeah, I gotta do it. That, that was fun. That was fun. There we go, let's, let's creep down to, there we go. All right, here, let's. Wow, when the RPMs start getting up, it just accelerates beautifully. Oh, wow. And these are really bad roads, not a problem. Not a problem. The brakes, they're like new. Brakes are like brand new, excellent brakes, no vibrations, and you can hear it for yourself, no sound. It's just a phenomenal car oh and the radio what's unique to this one? well it sort of works unfortunately the one thing that i really want is sirius xm i don't i don't think we've got sirius on this guys but oh we do it's got a button right there for sirius are you kidding me sirius not equipped contact your dealer ah well that definitely sucks. I guess I'm gonna have to call my Ford dealer and find out uh, find out how can they install Sirius XM for me. What do you guys think? Uh, it scoots. I'm really impressed. Like, I mean, no joke. I am really impressed with how quick this car is. I called it a little car earlier. That's just kind of what I call every car. This is not a little car. This is a relatively big car and probably fairly heavy being all wheel drive. And it gets down the road like 
nobody's business. Okay, so just the other day, I got my Audi S4, and I got my Audi Q5. And while, yeah, they're, they're fun cars, especially the S4. That S4 is a blast. I drove it over 150 miles my first day. I love the S4, and no problems out of it, right? I, I'm almost embarrassed to say that I like this Ford Taurus better. <laughs> I do. I'm, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to say it like it is, man. Forget the Audi S4. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell the S4, and I'm going to drive this damn Taurus. I love this. I'm leaving my truck down here at AR headquarters tonight. I'm driving this home. Are you kidding me? This thing is epic. So it's already happening. <laughs> it's already happening. I get behind somebody, they are determined to go the speed limit. And just a little bit under, they're going three miles under the speed limit. <laughs> so this is something I considered, but I thought people will just move out of your way so you can go. That is not the case. People just slow down and hold you up even more. So I'm sure police officers get really, really aggravated with people slowing down all the time when all the cop wants to do is go. It's got to suck. But, you know, here he goes. See, slowing down again. Slowing down. And we're going 39. <laughs> he keeps hitting the brakes. <laughs> there he goes again. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay. What a beast. This car. And look at that spotlight. Wow. Excuse me, sir. Pull over. Wow, that light, <laughs> that is cool. Uh-oh, I, I hit the button, turned it off, I guess. Man, I could, I could, this is brighter than the sun. Are you kidding me? Let's put it in park. Like I said, air conditioning, ISO, everything works. Everything works, but I wanna check out that back seat real quick. But first, check out that ominous glow of those red lights. That is kind of creepy looking. I need these windows tinted, like seriously. I really need these windows tinted. Okay, I wanna check out the back seats. Um, I'm curious if they work like a normal car or if they're the ones that once you get in, you can't get it. I should probably not get in and... <laughs> the window works. And the seat has been pulled out. You can see the seat is not pushed all the way down, I think. Interesting, leather seats in the back. You guys can't see anything, so I'm sorry for that. But um, the Carfax re report showed this car's had a lot of recent maintenance, including the brakes. So it's really no surprise that the brakes work as well as they do. Um, rotors, wheel bearings, it's, it's had quite a bit of recent work. So, but one of the things I noticed in the Carfax report was that the back doors they paid to delete the ability to roll the windows down and stuff. So that means somebody went through the process and the hassle of getting all of that put back together again, um, which I find, I find that very interesting. You got sliding visor. Oh, it comes out and slides. So for over here, very nice. This is actually, I thought the SEL was like a really base model car. I don't think it is, guys. This thing has a lot of, uh, a lot of little gadgets and gizmos and power everything, power mirrors, power seats, even power, um, well, that's just the, that's just the lights there, but even power pedals. Yeah, you can extend the pedals and everything. Does the, uh, wipers work yes they do man i don't know guys what does this do oh that's another button for the trunk you've got multiple buttons for the trunk I, i'm really liking this car i really am um, we do have some wires like i said earlier that are that are disconnected down here and i'm i'm almost willing to bet normally they cut all of this stuff out but they didn't so this probably went to whatever unit was sitting right here, the radio. It would have been the actual radio that they used to communicate back and forth with each other. Um, I'm going to need to pull this out and take a look and hope that maybe it's got a blown fuse or maybe... Let me put my hand under there. i got to be very careful. I don't want to... I don't want to... 
Oh, there's more. There's the, that's for the antenna for the radio, the communication radio. Ugh. It is plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in. So there's a very good possibility that whatever all of this is running to is just disconnected. Um, may just be a matter of getting power back to it. And at a minimum, I think we could get the siren to work. This car for five grand, what a steal of a deal in my opinion. All right. Oh, wow. It was 104 degrees today. I was out filming at Copart. I left all of this turned on 70 and it feels absolutely amazing in here. Now, of course, on the other end of the garage, who knows what the temperature is actually going to be, but let's see, 77. I saw it said 77 degrees. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We still got the SSR sitting here. I've got to get to work on it. I got to go ride this bike. I actually, I really miss riding it. So I backed it out and uh, I'm about ready to go take that thing for a, for just a quick ride. I've got so much coming for this car, guys. Unfortunately, this one didn't do all that well on the channel and I'm kind of surprised. I thought for sure this was gonna be a big deal on the channel and it just didn't and that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, but I got a brand new set of tires. Boy, the tires for this thing are, uh, are expensive. They're staggered. I believe they're 19 on the front, 20s on the back. I got a matching set of brand new tires. These tires are like, what, 15 years old or something? Like they're seriously old. And then all of these boxes, this is all parts for the SSR. All, all of this, I, I spent, yeah, I, I don't even wanna think about it. I spent a little bit of money to uh, bring some more content on the channel for this car, but this is one that I've had a lot of people asking about me selling. And even though I haven't driven it since the first video, <laughs> I drove it around quite a bit for, I don't know, two or three days. I don't wanna say that, let me change that. I drove it and did a Copart walk around with it. Um, so you might've seen it in a Copart walk around. Aside from that, I brought it down here because the tires are old and rotten. And I just, I, I parked it. And it has been sitting here for weeks now with no belt because everything is bad. The water pump, the idler, like everything, everything is bad. So I just bought everything and I got so much to get done on this. Uh, we're gonna come back and I might try to knock it out in a single video, including new uh, struts and coil springs, um, new rear shocks and coil springs, uh, plugs, fuel filter, plug wires, air filter, what else? Coolant, water pump, all of the all of the idler tensioner pulleys, all of the belts. There's a transmission fluid, transmission pan. We're going to replace the pan with one that has a drain on it. Um, rear differential fluid from Redline. I, there's so much, so much that's going to go into this car. I don't even know how be able to squeeze it into one video. But anyway, stay tuned because that's that's going to be coming very soon. Next, I have had a ridiculous number of people since I mentioned this was going up for sale um, contacting me. Um, I have not listed it for sale yet as of the making of this video. I'm having a really hard time letting it go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the right thing to help myself want to let it go. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up real quick. If you haven't seen this before on the channel, this is my 1940 Chevy Master sedan. It's a Master 85, complete restoration 20 years ago. And it's only got 3000 miles on it. 1200 of those miles I put on myself. So when I got this, it had like 2000 miles put on it in 20 years. It's got a $9,000 engine to this day. They still make this motor 410 horsepower by Edelbrock. It's a crate engine. Um, it is Edelbrock fuel injected with the ProFlow 1 fuel injection system. And it's automatic. It has a, uh, what is it? Bow ties, something in bow ties. Uh, transmission, stage two transmission, 700 R4. It hasn't been started. Well, I got the air conditioner on too. Let's turn that off. There it is. There it is. Oh, how beautiful. Um, headlights. Pop that hood. Bow ties and overdrives, or something like that. I think is what this what this transmission is called. It's got a four nine inch rear end. 
Is that not open? There it is. Listen to that. Are you kidding me? Beautiful car. Beautiful car. And listen to it. What a beauty. Look at that oil pressure. 50 PSI over 50. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. And, uh, you know, I was thinking today I probably do need to focus on trying to get this sold. And, oh yeah, power windows, power locks, everything, man. And remote, keyless entry. Yep. Yeah, it's... And all the literature that comes with it. I, I mean, guys, there's a, there's a lot. And, of course, the programmer and everything for the fuel injection all included. I, I know that I need to get rid of this. I do. I, I just... I think this is the nicest car I've had on the channel. And I paid a lot of money for it. You know, I paid 28 grand. I've got a guy that's already offered me 30 for it. Um, I, <laughs> you don't know how bad I want to take it, but at the same time, I'm not going to get another one of these. I'm not, but at the same time, I need to get rid of it. This one, this one legitimately, I never drive and I don't want to sell it, which is crazy. I never drive it, but I also don't want to sell it. I've just, I don't think I've ever had anything this nice on the channel before. And look at that paint God, it's so wet and it's dusty it's dusty and it still looks wet i don't want to get rid of it but i know i have to i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm gonna drive my police car home i am i'm i'm gonna drive my police car home i'm gonna put a tag on it and i'm gonna drive that thing home i'm gonna enjoy it that's what i'm gonna do um i hope you all enjoyed this video i can't stop looking at that 1940 chevy i just i really it, it, it's strange because I know that when I bring these cars in, they got to go. Like, I know that I got to spend time with them, enjoy them, and then they got to go down the road. And sometimes I find one that sticks to me a little bit. Uh, this 1940, I've, I've never had one that I'm just this, I feel this strongly about it. I don't, I don't want to get rid of it. So I've really been procrastinating getting the title work and everything done. Because if I don't get the paperwork done, then I can't sell it, right? Um, <laughs> I have to let it go. And I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the police car. Personally, I think that thing is awesome. We'll have to get into the shop sometime and see if we can't maybe get the sirens working on it. You know, I, I'd like to get just, just for fun, just for fun, maybe we could get the sirens and the, the PA. Maybe we could get those working. I think for 5000 bucks for a twin turbo Taurus police car that looks that good and drives that good, Steal of a deal. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, Carfax says it's worth 13000 but that's just their opinion, too. You comment below and tell me what you think. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon in the next one.